Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video, very exciting video, not a full flight video though, okay? As you can tell from the startup, we are now in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I have been waiting for so long, so, so long for this, I am thrilled that we finally have it, it is so amazing so far. Right, so basically what I thought I'd do, is that from start for the full flight, which is like boring as usual, what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do like tutorials kind of thing. Um, you know how to get started that kind of stuff so today I thought I'd show you how to connect to multiplayer in Microsoft Flight Center um, some of them, in Microsoft Flight Center 2020 so you first met with this lovely greeting screen like very beautiful have to admit and uh, it says press any key to start so pretty straightforward we're gonna press any key to start here we go and then you met with a little bit of a loading screen so what I'll just do we wait for that to load and then we get into the sim, uh, not simulator, we get into the uh, kind of like the UI, the welcome screen. And then from there, I'm going to show you how to connect to multiplayer globally and also with your friends if you have any. That sounded really sad, so I didn't mean to come, I didn't mean it to come out like that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you just got to wait for this little loading screen. Here we go. Not long now. It does take a little while, depending on your PC obviously but it's a very very big simulator so you have to give it a chance all right so here in the world map uh, like your kind of like start screen which is so modern so lovely really like it compared to like we're getting x plane and p3d you know this is really really modern um, and you can also hear the fsx legacy music i've set it to that to give me 2006 vibe 2010 vibes you know back when i was uh, younger there we go. Anyway, so what you want to do to connect to multiplayer is pretty simple. You do as what you do if you're going to start a normal flight. So you're going to click on the world map, like so. As you can tell, I'm kind of filming this in night. Um, if you wanted to, you know, you choose any destination or departure you want. Just so skip to daytime, actually. Uh, so say if we wanted to go to, let's say, Madrid, shall we? Let's go to Madrid. We'll set that as departure. Uh, you would choose your aircraft, any aircraft you want. We're going to stick to the Diamond uh, DA40 today. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click flight conditions in the top right. Now once you're in flight conditions, this is where you're going to set your multiplayer. All right? So, uh, multiplayer right at the top here. If you want all players, if you really quickly, all players will be visible regardless of their setting unless they have um, set multiplayer to only group. Okay. Live players, other players will also be, able, um, be visible if they have also set the multiplayer to live players and they share the same edge traffic settings recommended for authentic sim experience. So if you wanted to have live players, everyone would be seeing the same um, and in the same, uh, with, with the same kind of world as you. If you're going to do all players, you can set your own, you can, you can set anything you want, weather, um, time, anything. That's up to you to choose everyone you want. So you click all players or live players, up to you. So today we're going to do all players. <clears throat> and you can see down here you've got AA and live traffic. You don't want to do this if on a uh, multiplayer. Or you get confused. So we turn no air traffic will be displayed. Yeah, turn that off. Uh, weather and time, up to you. We're going to do live weather. I think it's most realistic obviously. So that's, that's the best thing you can do. Uh, come out of that. Here we are. We're going to set daytime. Sorry. And if we zoom in. Let's go to, uh, let me just zoom in a bit more. Here we go. You see all of these people, all these multiplayer people. I guess we could actually set um, LCLU, set as departure. There we go. And then you're going to see people on the ground. Then what you're going to do, you can press fly, and then you're going to be met with everyone on uh, the sim. But what I do want to do is so from starting up there, we'll set that as departure. So not on the runway. Here we go. Click fly. Right, everyone. So once you are here, you're then met with the screen of mul of like a pre kind of preload into sim multiplayer view. What we'll do here is press ready to fly, and then here we are in the simulator in multiplayer ready to go. Now, just to let you know, um, give the sim about 30 seconds just to leave it alone so everything can load because it gets stuttery and a little bit laggy in the first 30 seconds. Really, this should be all right now. Yeah, so it's okay. And as you can tell, there are a few aircraft around. There'll be, there's two up, oh no, that's a cloud, sorry. <laughs> um, there's a few aircraft around. Here's some. Actually, I'm not sure if they're multiplayer, but we know that there are because we saw them on the live map. There we go. So we know there's aircraft around. Unfortunately, they're just not here now. But it does, trust me, it does, <laughs> it does work. <laughs> 
that is how you load multiplayer. But yeah, here we are in Kutro Vientos. Kutro Vientos, I don't know how to pronounce that. But yeah, this is literally, this is how you do multiplayer. Unfortunately, there's no planes on the ground here now, but I mean, one of these could be. It's probably one, oh, it's probably one of these over here. So, you know, you know it's somewhat working. Um, anyway, that's how you connect to multiplayer. So then you can have fun with your friends, fly around with your friends, go and enjoy some uh, sightseeing. Because that's what I'm going to be doing soon. Just enjoy some sightseeing, some around the world flying, I think. Yeah, alright. Well, thank you for watching the video. Here uh, well, there's going to be many, many more to go, or many more to come on Microsoft Flight Center 2020. So look out for them. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can see some more content. I post full flight videos, tutorials, anything, you name it, I've got it. Um, you can join my Discord if you want to uh, down below with the link. Like, share if you think anyone would be interested in this video. Do share. That's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye bye.